Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to make paper clip notebooks and I saw this on Camellia Crafts Designs. I think this was one of her older videos and I just thought they were really cute so that's what we're going to do today. And what they are are just the little matchbooks. So you just make a little notebook out of it, put a paper clip on it and you can stick it in in your journal, on a pocket, just your page, anything you want. So I'll start off by showing you what she did. I'm not going to score this page because, or this piece of paper because I don't want to use it. I already have my matchbooks cut out. But what she did was she scored at, put it in your up and down way. Whichever, like if you have directional paper, make sure you have it going up and down. She scored at two inches and four inches. Makes each one two inches wide. Two, four, six. Then you turn it sideways. And she scored it at three-fourths of an inch and three and five eighths. I have to lift it up so I can see because I love this little scoreboard but can't see it very good up there. I have to find a way of darkening it in a little bit. And that's all she did. So score every two inches and turn it sideways. Score at three quarters of an inch and three and five eighths. Then you just cut them apart where you would have three, You it, each one, each six by six would make three of these. And that's how she did it. She did the three of the two inch pieces. So I did one of them, but I wanted some that was a little bit wider too. So what you can do is you can make them you can mass make from your six by six all this one size or would be a great scrap buster if you wanted them a little bit bigger then you just um, cut the width that you need you can still do the scores the same and that it, the width of it won't matter at all now hopefully I explained that good enough I think my camera's tipping so we're going to go ahead and start with the narrow one. Okay, now for the for the paper inside, I think I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one was two inches wide, and I just made these about one and three quarter inches wide. And... I did them, um, it's just barely over, well it's about four and a quarter. I didn't want it to go underneath the flap. I wanted it to stay above the flap. So it's however you want your paper in there. And then it'll just go in there. So, I think first I'm going to decorate. This flap doesn't look like it's as straight as what it's supposed to be, but we're going to leave it like that. I'm just going to decorate the flap and the front before I do anything else. So I'm just going to put a little glue across there. And you can decorate them however you want. Sometimes the hardest part is trying to figure out how you want to decorate something. My daughter and I was talking about that the other day. You get it all done, everything cut out, and then you wonder how your decorations are supposed to go. Um, I didn't want to do that yet. Let me wipe this off. 
see if I can wipe the glue off. Getting ahead of myself. All right, first I want to um, staple it. So I'm just going to put down here at the bottom two staples. And then I'm not sure if my, my lace will cover it or not, which doesn't really matter to me. Staples don't bother me. Yes, it'll cover if I do it like that. Now we can add some more glue on. So anyways, you staple your little flap. Or if you don't like the staples, you can um, go clear down to the bottom of your fold and you can put a little glue in there. And you won't see any staples. It's just easier to staple it, I think. And when you look at the old matchbooks, they were stapled. So I'll just put it like that. And then my lace will cover them staples. As long as I don't try to put it on cockeyed, right? There we go. I'll just cut this off. So how is everyone doing today? I think our temperatures are supposed to be cooling down just a little bit, hopefully, because it's been awfully hot and muggy here. Now on the, on the um, lace, I'm going to put cheerful. The words that I'm using today, I just printed them um, with black ink. I like the way it looks. And to me, that looks cockeyed. But I'm not going to cut it because if I do, I'll mess it up. Now, I think I'll go ahead and take care of my, let me see, I'm going to make sure it's kind of centered. I'm just going to put a little piece of lace across, it goes this way. I'm not overly decorating these, you can decorate them however you, however you want. I thought these have like the little baby animals, I thought this paper was so cute. And if you if you have directional paper on the back, it's going going to be upside down. So you just want to watch the way you fold it so you have it right side up. And on the next one, I'll show you because I forgot to on this one. You have to lay your paper a certain way, or your front will be upside down. So I just thought I would put a little piece of lace across there. And then I'm going to just put a little butterfly on because I want that little fox to show. Everything else is not going to show, but. Of course, on my butterfly, I'll have to give him some little antlers. I'll leave his wings so they're not completely stuck down. I think I must. Oh, here's my Sharpie. I move stuff around so often. So we'll just do that, and we'll do that. And I want to put some gems on his little body. So the best color I have that will go with it is this gold. So I'm just going to glue them on there. And I'll highlight that a little bit.
And I think that makes him look cute. Then these just look a little dimensional. All right, now inside, I think I can cap this for a few minutes so it doesn't run all over the place. On the inside, I'm going to put my paper clip and I'm gonna put the long side on the outside. We can move it down a little bit into the, the matchbook. And then I cut a little piece of the paper to go over it just to cover it on the inside. It's not cut very straight. So I'm just going to glue that down and I am going to use this glue again. I like to use Fabri-Tac on my paper clips because it holds them holds them in place better. So I'm going to put some on my paper clip and then I'm going to put some on this. And this paper that I'm using, it's scrapbook paper, but it's a pretty sturdy scrapbook paper. Now on the inside, you can journal on your flap here. You can journal around this paper. You just want something in there to kind of cover up your your paper clip. My paper trimmer is starting to sh um, fray my paper again. Alright, <clears throat> and then we're going to just staple these in. And some of these papers, well, they're a little shorter, some are a little longer. But that's fine by me. I don't know if this one will go in there all the way. No, it won't. Let me grab my other stapler. Okay, so I just um, paper clipped these to kind of hold them. And I want to put this right on my line I don't I don't always get these right where they belong very good got that one right but I want to put my um, the folded part of my staple on the inside oh good that worked well I have to hold it up so I can see what I'm doing, so hopefully you was also seeing what I was doing. Okay, and then we can just fold it over. And tuck it in. There. Now that's cute. I like that. And then... You can just take your pocket or your page and it clips right on the side. So if you have side tuck pockets, you can clip them in there. Let me see. This is just an old an old tag thing that I was working on. It has a little hidden pocket and you can just slip it right on there. Works well, huh? And you can put your um, paper clip on either side, depending on which way you want to put it into your journal. All right. So the next one. Now this one is a little bit wider. I think I like the wider ones, but this one's two and a half inches wide. And it would be the same six inches long. So I still scored them the same. It's still uh, scored at the three quarter inch and the three and five eighths. So that part of it didn't change. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I just inked with a little black ink along the sides just to seal my um, white so it didn't show. I'm just going to go ahead, put a couple staples in down here. And then <clears throat> just put this. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. Anyway, when you're going to. Oh, uh, I don't really want to. You don't really want to do that. When you have a directional paper, my mushrooms are going this way. If you just turn it over and you flip it up, your mushrooms are going to be upside down. So what you want to do is take your paper, flip it over this way. When you flip it up, your mushrooms are going the right way. When you bring this over, your mushrooms are going the right way. So when you have um, directional paper, you don't want to turn it this way. You want to flip it towards you. That way your um, design will be going the right way. I almost forgot to say it again. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and glue this on. And I just think these little animals, there's animals and birds and little mice and mushrooms. I just think it's so cute. Love this kind of paper. All right, and on this one, we're going to put admire. Now, these are um, put together the same way as the first one. I'm just going to decorate, decorate each one a little tiny bit different. So hopefully you stick around, watch to the end. I think making these little matchbook things are, it's just so much fun. And you can make so many things out of it. Now on this one, I'm going to put a mushroom. A big old mushroom. Can't remember how I had this laying. And I have it kind of raggedy. I'm going to flip this over and make for sure that it's. I need to raise this a little bit. Maybe I need to turn it a little bit. Kind of only stretches one way. I think I'll just do it something like that. And I think I'm going to use my glue stick. Glue stick generally holds this stuff down pretty good. Covers more of an area than trying to spread glue around on it. Okay, and I'm just going to look at, see there's my volcano, it's erupting. I laid it down and forgot I laid it there. Okay, and then I'm just going to set this on there. And I think the color of the mushroom goes good with the paper. The background paper. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim this off of the side. I've said it so many times when I've done videos, making ephemera is just my most favorite. I like making little things. Oh, 
Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with our paper clip. We're going to put the put the the short side in and the long side out. That still needs a little more glue in there. I'm just going to glue this over it. Every time I recap it, then I think I have to use it. But like I say, if you have a lot of different um, strips of paper, because you can make them any width, any width that you want, you can make um, big match books. You can make smaller ones. You can add pockets to them. I think I did some of that at, um, can't remember if I did it at, for the Christmas in July or if I just did regular videos like that. But check out some of my videos and see what I've done with them in the past. Okay. Now, these have the same amount of papers. And if you um, paper clip them in, it's easier because it holds it. And then, hopefully my head is not in your way. That one's right on. See, I just need to start holding this stuff up when I'm stapling it. That one's not bad. It's off a little bit. But we won't tell anybody. Okay. So there's that one. And that is cute. So then just press this down because it gets kind of thick. You can also do like a little bit of a you would have to watch your measurements here, but you could add a little extra room in here the way you um, score it if you think you needed extra room. Okay, so there's two of them. So now we're going to do our last one. And I did this in a plaid paper. These are out of the same, these are all out of the same paper pad. So if you have all the same papers, you know, you could make sets of them. That'll just fold under there. And you don't have to actually crease this either if you don't want to. I creased them, but you don't have to. If my papers that I put in these are a little bit thicker, like the paper pad you fold it in half, I, um, I generally don't crease that. I'll leave it rounded to let it have a little bit more room. You just kind of have to work with it, see what works best for you.
All right, and on this one, we're going to have Delight. Like I say, down here, you can put anything. They don't have to just be words. You don't actually have to put anything if you don't want to. Now on this one, I'm just going to have the mushroom on it all by itself. I'm not putting any lace or anything under it because I like the way, I like the colors in the mushrooms, the way it goes with the plaid. I just gave three different ways actually of decorating the assembly is all the same so it's just different ideas make sure I don't go above my fold and I think them colors just go so good together okay so we'll put our paper clip on. Wrong way. And these go really fast. Once you get everything um, cut out, all of your embellishments together, they go together really fast. And when you're not on camera talking and doing different things, they go together a lot faster. But it's fun to do videos. <clears throat> I really enjoy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got froggy. And now we're just going to um, staple our papers in. And now I did six papers. But you have um, four sides. You have the top side the inside the outside the top and bottom so that gives you 24 papers in your your little um, notepad so you have quite a lot of journaling space and then if you fill it all up or you use all of your papers then you can it's easy to get the staples out and you can just staple another notepad in there so you can even say that they're reusable. And there's that one. And I think that made just a really cute set. So I'll just stick them all on here because this is bigger. And you can see them all together. And that's our video for today. So let me know down in the comments what you think. I think they're really cute. And do you guys do, um, do you guys make matchbooks? If you haven't, you gotta try it because it's fun. So that's it for today, everyone. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and comes back and sees me for my next video. And until then, happy crafting. Bye for now.